What is up y'all? Welcome to another video. If it's your first time stopping by my channel, my name's Jeff Rowe and this is Jeff Rowe's Fish Keeping. Today it is moving day again, continued from the other day. In today's video I moved some more fish into the new fish room and uh, yeah it was pretty exciting and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Alright guys, just got done doing water changes in all of my tanks in the fish room and I got down to this one and uh, if you guys remember in one of my last videos I've been moving trios of my live bears into the new fish room and I've already got my inlers moved I took some select trios of those and when I was getting down to this one I seen a little trio that I liked in here and I just captured them and put them in this little jug here and I'm gonna go drip acclimate them and add them to one of the tanks to one of the new tanks in the new fish room so alright guys if you guys don't know um, how to drip acclimate what you do is you get you a little pitcher like this Try to get one where the handle is cut out on the bottom to where it hangs on fish tanks and stuff. But you just get them in a container. And make sure that it's lower than the aquarium. I'm gonna put these in this little aquarium here. And then get you a piece of silicone airline tubing. Tie a knot in one end loosely. Okay, and you put this end down in the tank and you put this end over the jug and you give it a little suck on the end with the knot and you loosen it up for more drips and you tighten it up for less drips and then you tape this to the side of the tank. So I'm going to go ahead and get it started here and then I'll pick you guys up and bring you over. And there we go. Okay, pick you guys up and show you. Now, right now, it's dripping pretty fast. Might slow that down a little bit. Still dripping pretty fast. Let me put you guys down and I'll get it adjusted. Alright. I got that right where I like it. See how it's dripping slower now? This little female whoa this little female over there um, she's one that came from my son's sunset platy and uh, she's got some really nice metal flake sparkles on her she's got rainbow and sunset platy in her and these other two one's a red platy with like a uh, black tail and the other one's an orange platy with black speckles and none of them are related all three of these are not related and I'm gonna give it a shot like I said I'm gonna put them in this bottom tank here I think I am gonna go ahead and open this tank up and uh, maybe do another shrimp tank cuz I've got the black cherry shrimp there I've got a secret shrimp on order for here and then I might do an all black substrate tank and move a couple of handfuls of cherry shrimp my real nice fire reds in here on that one don't know just thinking out loud <clears throat> but when it's time to move the platies into the aquarium I'll check back in and I'll get you guys to show their release all right y'all it has been about an hour 
the little fishies are doing pretty good still. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the siphon and probably get this tape off of here. Probably end up having to get a new piece of tape by the next time I do this. I don't know. It's lasting pretty good. Sorry about the shoddy camera footage here. Go ahead and try to get a good view for you guys. I'm releasing them into the tank. get back and leave them alone because these fish do have a tough time adjusting so I'll give them some time to settle in and I'll check back in with you guys all right guys had them in here for about 30 minutes and I think I'm gonna have to move the guppy grass to the back like I did in these other two tanks and, uh, that gives them a place to go to the back and hide and then when you walk by, they'll be curious and come up to the front. They seem to be doing good. This uh, drip acclimating process works really great. Um, when I'm buying fish from a store, you know, when they're in a bag when I bring them home, I'll still do the, the floating method where you float um, acclimate them, but when you're moving them in the fish room, I used to always just put them in a bag and float the bag and it's a pain. This way right here you just put them in a container and drip acclimate them and it works great. Alright guys it is time to add some more fish. I just got done putting a big helping of guppy grass in this top tank. And I think what I'm doing here since I put the inlers in there the other night I think I'm going to put guppies, endlers, and do the trios that way. So I have the trios on this side right here. But right now I am drip acclimating a blue delta and a couple of females. And um, just put them in, just started the drip acclimation. I was trying to figure out every time I would put my pitcher up here, the, uh, the siphon would stop. And then I drug my ladder over here and I was trying to put my picture on that. And all of a sudden out of the blue I came up with the idea the other day I cut the, the handle where I could hang it on my tanks. So I'm just hanging it there and uh, got that drip acclimation going. It works really good. You just take a silicone tube and tie a knot in this end. And then you take the other end and string it up in the tank and then you just tape it on the side there and then you give it a little suck. and. Uh, Tighten the knot for less drips and loosen the knot for more drips. And, uh, yeah, I'd say about an hour and I should be good to go. Normally I cover these, but uh, they're acting pretty chill. So I'll check back in after I get them in the tank. All right, guys, they have been drip acclimating for an hour. And I think. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. Go ahead and get go ahead and get this tube off of here. And go ahead and get them in there. Now the last time I tried to take this off of the tank, it got kind of stuck all right guys this is heavy I think I had my drip on there for too long but let's go ahead and see what we can see here let's go ahead and slowly let them out one female another female and the male
Okay. Blue Delta male. Lots of times whenever they get stressed out, their color lightens up. So he's not looking really lightened up at all. Of course they're gonna go back there behind the guppy grass. Sorry for the glare guys. I guess I will have to check back in later whenever they are fully settled in. What is up y'all? The next fish that I have chose to go ahead and move into the new fish room. I'm gonna have to do a all male inler tank. And uh, they might not stay in there forever. I may bring those out into the summer tubs this summer. But what I've got in mind with all these um, lie bearers is to do lie bearers and to be able to control them you actually need three tanks and what I've got in mind is is my inlers I've got a pretty large tank I've got a 40 gallon tank my guppies I've got a 55 gallon tank and then my platies I've got a 55 gallon tank and what I've got in mind is start a all-male tank an all-female tank and a trio tank and in the female tank it will also double as the grow out tank so whenever it comes time to grow out fry the fry will go in here with the females and then when the males start coloring up pull them out as soon as you can determine that they're a male and put them in the all male tank and that's going to be the sale tank because you know inlers most of the time people want to buy males now if I do get into some aquabid stuff they will want to buy some packs and I will probably sell them to help get rid of females but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get all my males I think I got like five or six in here right now that I can tell that are males um, a lot of the fry hasn't grown out yet but go ahead and get them moved and this would be a really good looking tank in there I mean it's just a bare bottom 10 gallon tank a storing tank for males but um, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to catch them, put them in there, and drip acclimate them. Alright, I think I've got all of them that are showing color right now. I've got about five. I think it's five. Yeah, I've got one in the middle just chilling. And um, I'll just keep on doing this week after week whenever I see males showing color, and that'll just be something that I'll do for the future. I'm sure there's more in there. It's just they're so young they haven't showed up color. This tank hasn't produced fry in a couple of weeks so I think it was getting packed anyhow. There's a couple of females that are pregnant in my other tank and then there might be one or two females pregnant in here so they might produce some more fry. But now I'll be able to control it. Um, I'll be able to pull fry out of my select breeder tank and bring into here and let them grow out and being in a bigger tank growing out will help so once they show color though into the all male tank it's gonna be kind of cool the all male inler tank will be pretty nice looking they're pretty pretty nice fish so on to the next step drip acclimation this new fish room stand by no means is for looks um, of course I want it to look neat and trim if I have somebody come over and want to take a look at some fish, I want it to look nice and presentable. I want it to pop their eye, but it is what it is. Most of them are bare bottom tanks with a little bit of floating plants for the breeder tanks. And then like this one is just going to be a standard little holding tank. That's going to be my all male inler tank. And I wanted it to be about eye level because the colors are going to pop really good. But I went ahead and got these in their males, drip acclimating, let it go for an hour, and I'll come back to you guys when I release them into the tank. Alright guys, got the little male inlers ready to go in the tank here. I've got a little GoPro in there so it'll probably block this view a little bit. So I've got a 
kind of look at the GoPro. Yeah, that's going to be great. Alright. Let's go ahead and start letting these little guys go. There they go. They are all out. Got the GoPro in the way right now. They are in the tank and doing well. I'll check back in a minute. Hey y'all, fighting some reflections today. But got the little GoPro in there to see if I can get any cool underwater shots. But um, my initial thoughts on these tanks that I'm not trying to promote breeding, you know, this is gonna be an all male tank, of course, are to not add any of the guppy grass to them to leave them like this but my only worries about that is is I don't have tops on any of these tanks and inlers are jumpers so the only thing is I might add some top floating like hornwort or maybe some guppy grass to keep them from wanting to jump out I don't know I'd hate to try to find out by trial <laughs> So I'm going to try to think of a plan here. I could order some of that stuff to just make some lids on these tanks too. So we'll have to see. So what do you guys think? It's probably the last time I'm going to move fish in the fish room out there um, for a while. My platies really need to grow a little bit um, before I really um, move males and females. I've got a bunch of fry in there. So I'm really not able to sex a lot of them yet. So it'll be a while before I move them out and have an all male platy tank and uh, so on and so forth. And the same way goes with the sword tails and the guppies. Um, I've only got uh, two male guppies that I could move in there right now. So it really wouldn't work right now. So. Um, and then right now I don't even have a male sword tail at all. I do have plans of maybe buying some male sword tails, so that might be coming down the road. But um, I did enjoy moving these fish and start um, adding some fish to the new fish room because every time you walk by it, it was pretty blank. Um, got some exciting videos coming down the pipe. Um, I've got a summer project that I've got coming up that's going to be coming up in a week or so. And then I've also got, like I said in one of the clips to one of these videos, I've got uh, another shrimp tank. Actually, I've got two shrimp tanks to set up. I've got one that I've got some shrimp ordered for right now that I'll be making a video up uh, that will be coming out really soon. Um, if it is your first time coming by my channel, thanks for stopping by make for sure and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you won't miss out on any of my videos I am uploading right now on Mondays and Thursdays and also live streaming every Saturday night at 8 p.m. Uh, thanks for coming by and hopefully you guys enjoyed we'll see you on the next one peace out y'all